Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. This is Switch with Christy. And we're here in Gerudo Town, but we won't be here for long. <laughs> like I said last time, what I want to do now, before we head to Vanaboris, is I want to upgrade our shock-resistant armor to level 2, so we'll be unshockable for dealing with Naboris and the boss of Naboris. And I also want to open up the last part of the map, which is Elden Region, right? So that's what we're going to do. In my opinion, we should... Let's head over to the Akala Tower. Oop, it's a little chilly. Sorry about that, Link. Uh, well, not as well, right? Alright, so, we're up on Akala Tower. And let me get my bearings. Where are we at? We need to head towards If I'm not mistaken, this is a shrine we sell, saw earlier. And if I remember correctly, it is also near the stable that's at the base of the path for Elden. So that is where we want to head. Yes, I think that's the one, right? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to head in that direction first. Because I guess there's a proper way to kind of enter the Elden region. And what I mean by that... Oh, somebody's getting beat up down there. Oh, is that that guy on the edge of the bridge? Yes, it is. We already saved his butt once. Anyway. There's a way to enter the Elden Region where you kind of learn the ways so you don't end up wasting your time like I did. Um, do I have that one marked? I probably don't. I won't be able to see it from over here. Will I? I might be able to. Well, let's just kind of remember where it's at. The vicinity, I guess. Yeah, it's going to be hidden by mountains in a minute. So anyway. I've played this game a few times, as you all know. And the first time or two, I entered the wrong way. I came in over the mountains and everything else and learned about the specific weather conditions kind of backwards. It's a lot easier if you come in this way and you stop by this stable first and talk to a few locals. You'll kind of be prepared a little bit better for what you're going to be dealing with as you start to climb the path. Again, like I said, it's uh, there's technically no right way but to me it's the way that makes the most sense if you want to be prepared all right oh i remember this one moa keet and the name of the goddess hylia i offer this trial i didn't even say the name did i metal makes a path all right, let's go ahead and put on our normal gear, first of all, because we look ridiculous wearing our winter gear in a lava mess. All right, so we got all kinds of stuff flying at us here. All right, I'm going to come up here and get out of the way.
Alright. Now with this one, I don't know if I'll be able to grab it with the magnet right away. Yes. Alright. Now, now that you stopped it, just leave it there for a second. We need to run up here because there is a treasure chest. I forget if it's something we want. I'll have to look. Uh, Knight's broadsword, durability up 26. Inventory's full. I do not think that there's anything. Hmm, actually. Yeah, there is. Let's go ahead and drop the frost blade. Because we have the great frost blade. And this is pow more powerful. All right. Moving on. There we go. Uh, I always forget. Hold on. Go ahead. No! Oh. I almost hurt myself doing that. There we go. You gotta make sure you hold it down while you walk. Because if you lift it, one of the stones will pop underneath. And then you'll run yourself over. And it can be a pain in the butt. Oh, keep on going. There we go. And there was metal making a path, right? Now, before we leave, if we want to head down here, because I completely forgot there was a treasure chest down this way. So let's go ahead. There it is. See that? Let's go ahead. Do that. And a ruby. Now, if you can catch the metal block... When it's first coming down, you can catch the metal block. Metal block, yeah. The metal ball this way. Then you can just use that to smash up. Get your chest. Then you use that to push your way up here. And then technically, you know, metal is making the path all the way. Right? But I usually have a hard time catching the metal ball down at the bottom of that pit. So I just find it easier to do it that way. But there's the shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Alright. Just having a look-see real quick. Making sure. Oh, hi Violet. The Moakit Shrine. And this is Foothill Stable? Yes, Foothill Stable. Very nice, very nice. Hi, Cass. Ooh. Oh, we meet yet again. How are you holding up? In case you were wondering about the song I performed at the stables, there are many theories about its origin. But according to my teacher, it was a song performed by the ancient hero to call to his horse companion. <laughs> if you ever feel like hearing it, feel free to drop by. Anyway, time to get back to it. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Yeah. Not right now, Cass. I see. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. That is a Pona's song, isn't it? From Ocarina of Time? I may be mistaken, but he said it, the ancient hero used it to call to his horse 
in Ocarina of Time. Huh. All right, there's Beetle. There's no rumor mill. Hi, who are you? Myro. I wish I had this kind of artistic skill. Hi. Have you come to look at the picture too? It's so beautiful. I could spend hours just looking at it. This painting was made by Ozunda, the owner of the stable, or so I hear. Oh. That volcano in the background, it's so majestic in the state. The stable is subtle in the scenery. Oh. I think the stable was painted from a southern direction? The composition is just so impressive. A landscape of a stable shrine quest. Uh, wrong, wrong thing. All right, I want to take a picture only because, like I said, or like he said, or the thing said, it's a shrine quest. And the way to figure it out is not here, here. No, I don't want to cancel. We're going to need to find this place where the picture was taken in order to see the shrine. I think we already saw the shrine, sort of. Alright, what's this? This is what I was talking about by the, as far as the um, right way, wrong way. This particular thing right here is showing you what you're going to need to go up. See how it looks like a black lizard? And a horn? We need fireproof elixirs. And this woman right here... Gail? Morning! If you're stopping by Foothill Stable, then you're probably heading to Goron City. That's right. Uh... I thought so. Hold on. Buddy, are you really heading to Goron City just like that? Yeah, why not? <sighs> See, this is how tourists get a bad rap. Rep. Rap. <laughs> rep. <laughs> that place is sheer cliff after sheer cliff, and it gets so hot past the second checkpoint that your body will catch fire. Normally I wouldn't stop a stranger from heading to their doom, but I kind of like you. Uh... So I guess I have no choice but to sell you these fireproof elixirs. They can protect you from the burning air. Even Goron City regulars usually take at least three elixirs with them. It's 60 rupees for one, 110 rupees for two, and 150 rupees for three. Buying in bulk pays off here. Okay, we're going to take a few, but first, I think we have to clear out our inventory. I don't know that we have room for elixirs right now. Uh, we have two. If we get rid of this, we can't eat it. Eat. Eat anyway. Cool. All right, now we have room. Hi. Hi. If you're headed to Grand City, I'll sell you some of my fireproof elixirs. Yes. We're going to take all three. It's cheaper that way anyway. All right, fireproof elixir times three. Grants a fireproof effect, which prevents your body from catching fire. Be sure to pack this when venturing out to explore Death Mountain. Mm. If you have that many, you should be able to make it to Goron City. No problem. All right. Very nice. Horses and donkey. <laughs> Nothing up this way. Give it a look. Oh. Hi, Orange. I hear him. Why am I hearing a whiz robe? Oh, crap. Because there he is. Um, first of all, do we have a picture of him? No, we don't. <laughs> that is, they're bad pictures. There we go, that's better. <laughs> At least we can see them. They have such creepy eyes. Alright, nope. You're not gonna hit me. And I keep on hitting the wrong button. There we go. There we go. Now he's gone. This is an ice rod. And we have a picture of that already, too. Is there anything over here that we should know about? Uh, 
Whoop. Broken down. Nothing. So he was over here and he wasn't protecting anything? No treasure? No? Just real quick. See anything? No? Still nothing. Nope. Alright. Okay. Back to the stable we go. Because we didn't finish what we are doing. Alright. Is there anybody else in here? We got him. Landscape of a stable. We got Cass. Oh. Hi. Let's find some ore to sell. Yeah. <laughs> Cairo. Us Gorons make a living by mining ore. We eat the rocks we dig up as we mine, so we get to snack all day. Alright, let's get down to brass tacks. Feel free to browse my wares. Okay, what are you selling? I have some rare ore burning a hole in my pack. Take your time, look it over, and let me know what you want. 60 for amber. 80 for opal. 360. Holy crap. Yeah, no. We're good. Thanks, brother. Need anything else? What do you want to sell? I'm just curious, since he's selling that stuff. Does he give any more? Or, nope, I went too far. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, no, he still gives normal price. Okay, I was just curious. Thanks, brother. Need anything else? That's it for now. Thanks. Maybe we'll meet again down the road. Who are you? You're leaving. Hmm. Dato. Should I travel by horseback or continue on foot? A troubling dilemma. Moreover, if I continue on foot, do I start with my left foot or my right? Huh? Right foot. A less troubling dilemma. Seriously? You're a wackadoo. Nope. I already have a picture of a hunter's shield. Okay. Beetles down there. Do we have anything? We're gonna scare some people, but that's okay. Boop. There's a double axe. I could have used that instead of blowing it up, but hey, where's the fun in that, right? Grab us some apples. That's good enough for now. Alright, so... Nobody else to talk to. The landscape of a stable. Now, when we were on our way here... There was one over here somewhere. I'm just going to do that for now. And in the adventure log... Volcano and Sable, some of this seems familiar. Alright, let's look at the picture again. Album. That's not the picture. That's not it either. Alright, you're looking at the volcano and the stable is on your right and you're looking over the canyon a little bit stable on the right volcano kind of center a little bit of a canyon on the left all right so there's death mountain these mountains are off to the side so it's obviously up this way a little bit right Yep, I saw. A hot-footed pigeon. And do you see that? There is your first fireproof lizard. You're going to need a lot of them, as well as their butterfly counterpart. 
So that when you see them first time too, you're gonna want to take a picture. Fireproof lizard. This rare lizard can only be found in the Elden region. Its scales have heat resistant properties, so when cooked with monster parts, it produces a heat resistant elixir. Not a heat resistant, a flame resistant. That's the difference. That's where I made my mistake my first time. My first time coming through here. I thought heat. It's hot. Heat resistant. Yeah, no. Fire resistance and heat resistance are two totally different things. I see another one back there. Let's go catch him. Hi, buddy. Thank you. All right. Let's try to find this. It's got to be up this way somewhere. Oops. Don't want that. I don't want that either. You missed. Is he gone? Hi. <gasps> Karsh. Sa... Huh? Sa... Don? That was... <clears throat> that was nothing. I'm fine. Ooh. Hey. It would be rude of me not to thank you for your help, so thanks. Red Rupee. Oh, thank you. Cool. 24 in wood. Do we want one of those? Ugh. Nah, we're good. I hear somebody else getting their butt kicked, too. Hi. You good? I never even saw them coming. This is exactly why I didn't want to go truffle hunting. Lousy gnat. It was my sister's harebrained idea to hunt for truffles here that got us into this mess. Megan. And I'm guessing that's... Yeah, hi. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah! See? And I lost his stuffs. There's another one. Are you going to get up anytime soon? <sighs> Hi. I already know you're not going to give me anything. Hey, ah. you're just going to walk away. This is Nat. We're traveling all over to find hearty truffles. I know, I know. It's dangerous for two folks to travel on their own these days. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> But when I think about how wonderful those truffles taste, all the worries and warnings melt away. Yeah, and I just saved both y'all's butt. And again, no thanks. No thanks. Not at all. Nope, you were even just gonna walk away without even talking to me. Alright, I just want to find where this picture was taken. Let's look. I have a feeling that that's Yiga. What do you think? Alright. Let's see. Uh, I can't see the stable. Oh yeah, I can. It's right there. Alright, let's look at the picture. Uh, wrong one. Album. Nope. 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 Album. Alright. Mm, those things are kind of on level with Death Mountain. We got a little rock off to our right, and the stable is barely visible over. Alright. Oh. It's lower. Oh, let's just do this and get it done. Hi. Oh. Traveler. Hmm, what's the word? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't think of it. It starts with L, ends with K. What is it? Tough. Uh, what is it, though? Lurk, lick, leak, uh, link? <gasps> oh, right, the Hylian Champion, or so I've heard, somewhere. That's you, right? You're Link. <laughs> Be gone, enemy of my master. Thank you. 
Oop! I thought he was disappearing. Where'd he go? Goodbye. Let's grab these real quick. And then we got this... Do we have a picture of it yet? The Demon Carver. Nice. This lethal weapon is forged by the Yiga. Its unique shape facilitates the sound dispatching of any target and strikes fear into the hearts of all who see it. If you say so. I just don't know. Let's see what the stats are on it. It's a 40. Yeah, we'll take it. It's a one hand and a 40. Hello? Of course we'll take it. Alright. Let's get some food because I I thought for sure he was disappearing. And he didn't disappear. Instead, he regrouped and then charged us. And Yeah. Alright, so. I am... There's the stable. There's Death Mountain. There's... I think it's lower down, isn't it? Yeah. It's lower down. Like... Well, not that low. No. Hmm. Where is the stinker at? And there's a rock. That's sort of kind of... Oh my goodness. I didn't notice that camp there. That's not good. See, it's saying shrine nearby. I want to say it's lower. Maybe over here? This guy, you gotta watch out for. The Elden Ostrich. He will do just like the goats do and all that. He will charge you and run you right off. There's the... Hmm. Let's go this way. That's not a... Yeah, it's a summer wing. So we're still lower then, huh? Yes. Down this way? Hi, birdies. But now there has to be a rock, sort of. I see stuff there. Is it over here? Let's go ahead and grab you. See, this is where we got, there's Death Mountain. Hmm. Ah! Nope.
This is hard, huh? We still need to see a bit of the stable. Hi. Okay, now I see the stable. And there's that. It still isn't it. My goodness. I do see a fireproof lizard though. Hi. All right, we're gonna find this darn thing. See, I'm going too high again. Hmm. Let's look at the picture again. Album. Wish I could zoom in on it. That would be awesome. I think it's that, right? If that's off to the left, sort of. But see, from here, I can't see the stable. Is it up one? Let's go ahead and... Amber... All right. They're kind of... Let's go up one. I don't know. It just seems like that's too high. Mm. Okay, now I'm starting to see the shrine a little bit. I think. Alright. There's those things. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait. Nope, that's not a good picture. Hi. Hi, buddy. go. There's him. And that's the wind cleaver. Oops. Which technically we've seen before, we just haven't gotten our- because it disappeared after we did the one quest. Wind cleaver 40. Uh, it's a two-hander. Mm, yeah, we're gonna let it be. Okay, let's get back to doing what we're doing here. We need... I don't even know. What do we need? Oops! Scared you away, didn't I? Alright, there's the... I... I... Hmm... Hey, look. That is awesome looking, isn't it? You can see him. Alright. Come on, guys. I really don't have time for you right now. Yep. Awesome. 
I just would really like to find this shrine. Oh, <gasps> no, you didn't. He picked up the wind cleaver. hell was this picture taken? Now we're too high. Because although... Oh, I just saw a shooting star, too. Shrine nearby. Ha! Huh. There we go. There's the shrine, which we're going to go ahead and mark. Very nice. All right. We're going to get rid of this because. I don't know. And that looks like it ended up right on the other side of the stable. So we're going to take a chance. Took me a while to find that spot. I wanted to find the right spot. I, I knew where the shrine was, but I didn't want to not show you how to do the shrine quest, which is... In order to find that shrine the first time, if you don't already know where it's at, you have to find where that picture was, stand there, and then you can see the shrine. Because the shrine's not visible elsewhere. There it is. Woohoo! Can we get to it, is the question. Eesh! Oh my goodness. Um. We could try. Alright, we could try. We're gonna try. I'd like to. Let's go this way. I can hear it. We're getting close. Come on, Link. Let go. Just the clock. Mm, 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 just run. Let go. I'm trying to go this way. All right. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Where it was. Oh, tell me it fell. <sighs> Did it fall in the water? Oh, see, that happens sometimes. Unless it's in here. We'll, we'll give it a look-see. We'll give it a quick scan, but I think we lost it. Sometimes these shooting stars will land literally on the edge of a mountain, on the side of a, like, right on the tip here or something. And... The beam will stay present, and as soon as you get close, the beam disappears, and it actually becomes the star fragment. And when that happens, physics takes over, and what does the star fragment do? It rolls down the side of the mountain. So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be getting our hands on that one. That stinks, though. I hate when that happens. Alright, I've gotten myself so turned around. We don't have a map yet. The whole reason we came to this area 
is for the tower, so let's get back on track. Head back over here by the stable. So we can make our way over towards the shrine. Not the shrine, the tower, <laughs> which is in that direction. Oh, I thought I saw something over there. All right, so. Let's go ahead. Grab you, grab you. I think we have picture. I know we got pictures of the hot footed whatever. Pigeon? Hot footed pigeon, I guess it's called. All right. Head this way. Follow the path. Just for now. Sort of. Rusty Claymore. Another shrine nearby. Hi, guys. Do we have pictures of you? I can't tell. Fire Choo Choo? Yes, we have a picture. Yep. If he is a fire, fire breath Lizalfos, is he? Nope. He's not. Okay. I should have looked in the camera first. There we go. Ooh, I cut down a tree. Lizzle Tri Boomerang. These are one of my favorite one handed weapons. There we go. And do I have anything that's about to break or that I've been... That's durability up. 26, 25, 24, 30. I've been using the crap out of that, but... I know where we can get tons of those. Yeah, that's a 36. We like that, right? And then... We probably don't have a picture of that yet either, do we? Nope. Steel Lizzle Shield. That's a 35. It's not too bad. Don't need it, though. Alright, let's go get our fire choo-choo jellies. And then we'll continue on our way. Alright. We are heading in the right direction, yes? Let's take a look. Where are we? That's the Akala... Let's get up on top of this one here. Sound like a plan? Yes. So I can... There's the tower. That's where we're headed. I see another one of those. All right, let's get a picture of these guys, their little igneo peblets. All right. And... Yep. Woo! Flint. Flint. Amber. All right. Doink, doink. Yes, we know. We want the tower first, though. Thank you. It is just so much easier once we have the map. Because I am getting myself turned around way too easily. Oh, this Korok is on the way, so we'll go ahead and do it. 
All right. Let's see. Two, three. Two, three, one. Let's see if I can remember that. Go away. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, I think. Yep. All right. Very nice. Yeah, ha ha. Bye bye. That's most certainly something. All right. Now we're going to make our way. Is this the path? No, I don't see him. So he's further up. All right. We're getting closer. Actually, I think this might be the path. There's another lizard. We'll go ahead and grab him. Nope, I don't want to take that. I was trying to search this. I think there might be a live guardian around here somewhere. If I remember correctly. There he is. Let's go ahead and put on our... Our that. Yep. Come on over, buddy. Come on over. Come get us. Come on. Come on. Come get us. There's a cute little guardian. Come over here and try to fight us. I didn't mean to do that. I waited too long. That's okay. There's one leg. There's two legs. Three legs. Goodbye. Stop moving. Wow. Stop. Thank you. Did we get them all? Still got one. Give me the leg. I want the leg. Come on. I missed one leg. That stinks. <laughs> I was so worried about trying to line up my shot that I wasn't even paying attention that he was about to shoot me. Oh well. It, it, oh, hello. Hi. Any more pieces anywhere? No, but there's a sun shroom. All right. Nope. What are you doing? What? Seriously? <laughs> he decides he's going to climb a pile of rubble. All right. Now I'm turned around again. That's it. We're going that way. Up. All righty. Come on, Link. My goodness. You were trying to climb a pile of rubble, but then I try to get you to climb a mountainside, and you're like, yep, nope. Not happening. I'm just gonna stand here and walk into a wall. But put a little pile of rubble on me, and I'm gonna bend down on all fours. Silly goose. Alright, come on. How come I never marked it, did I? I'm a silly goose. I never marked the tower on the map. 
That's why I keep on getting myself turned around. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction because it's not marked on the map. Alright, let's get our stamina back. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, we got diamond, sapphire, ruby, and amber. Don't mind if I do. All right. I just want to peek. I see. Ooh. What the hell was that? Oh, it was him. Okay. I was going to say, I saw something. Wasn't sure what I was seeing. That close, it looked weird. Alright. There we go. We gotta be getting closer. This is one heck of a climb, huh? Come on, Link. See darners and butterflies. There we go. Eesh. Let go. Just just run. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Elden Tower. There it bees. I'm just looking around real quick. Alright, the reason I'm looking around is because I'm not sure. But I think the first one... Is right here, and I'd like to get a picture of it semi-soon. If we can. Yep, I know, I'm hot, I'm burning. So that's got to be one, right? Let's go ahead and take a... Whew, we're on fire. Um, Where's the elixir at? There we go. Alright. We don't have any wood stuff on, do we? No. No. And we don't have any shield equipped, so we're good. The reason I was sneaking and looking is because I could have sworn I saw, but now I'm not seeing it. The Smotherwing Butterfly, which is very hard to see. In this because of the ash that's floating around sometimes I find that it's easier to do this kind of see if the camera zooms in on anything but you're most likely to find them near lava piles like that or ha that okay we want a picture of you come on come back Come on. I want a picture of you, please. Please. Come on. Come on. Please. Oh my goodness. Stop. Oh. Oh my god. Thank you, god. Smotherwing Butterfly. He landed right next to me. There we go. We caught one, and we got a picture of one. Now, there's some bad guys there, so we're going to let that be. The main concern was I wanted to get a picture of one. We are going to need to find a bunch of them. 
and it's easier with a picture because like I said they blend in with all the ash so keep that in mind if you're looking you can find a couple near the tower get a picture of them as soon as you can and that way when the search comes on I, I believe if I remember correctly the armor that we're gonna get up here in Elden it requires smotherwing butterflies for upgrades and they are some of the most difficult things to farm in the game you'll see what I mean if you don't already know all right Sheikah tower activated Yay! We got the last tower, guys. Scanning area. Here we go. And then we get the extra little jingle because now, complete map of Hyrule extracted. Awesome. Take a look out over the world here. Now. Our first plan of attack is to get to the first stop. Now that we have the map, we can kind of see. We want to get... Where is it? I think it's around here, I want to say. Through here. Somewhere through here is the first stop. And that's where we want to get first. Because, again, no right, right or wrong way to do anything. But the easiest way, stop at the foothill stable, we get our elixir, right? Our elixir gets us this far. That way when we caught fire, we were, e we were capable of taking care of that. Now, if we follow the path, if we continue to follow the path and don't veer off and find the first stop... We can make it so we don't have to worry so much about the elixirs. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head off. I'm going to go ahead and mark sort of the direction we're heading in. All right. If we follow the path a little bit. First off. Let's go ahead and break you. Whoops. It would help if I was actually... That was nothing. Hi, guys. Why? Blow them up. All right. Continue this way a little bit. Think, think. Next. Hi. Suck in. Blow up. Hurry up, get this stuff before it all burns. All right? Let's get him too. That butterfly just kind of flew up to us. Did you notice that? Kind of liking the luck I'm having on this playthrough. Oh, and I lost all the goodies. But I got a smotherwing butterfly for my trouble, so that's okay. I see another one, actually. Where'd he go? I did see him. He disappeared. Hmm. 
could have sworn he was right here. That's okay. I didn't think there were two of you. There we go. Grab the choo-choo jellies. Yeah, we're not here for you guys. Right now, we're working on... Oh, yeah. Mm. All right. This one... Uh, uh, no, we don't want to do this right now. This, this is... No. We're going to try to go up and around. I completely forgot that that was on this path. I should have flown. I didn't even think about it. Alright. There we go. Up here I should be able to get my stamina back. Somewhere. Oh, we're about to lose our stuff, too. Hold on. It does not stack, by the way. You'll see we're going to lose that four seconds. That's okay. okay. All right. Now that we're up here, I'll show you what I was trying to stay away from. Right down there. In the middle of all that. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, guys. You know what this means. We were close. We're gonna have to do that all over again. I'll speed it up so we get there, but we need to run over here. It's a blood moon. Alright. Time to get naked. And there it is. Under a Red Moon, complete Mija Roki Shrine. Let's go ahead up here and talk to Cass real quick. Ah, so nothing between you and the night air meant naked. Oh. Boldly standing naked on the pedestal. That's definitely reminiscent of the hero of legend. Take care and may the light illuminate your path. Thank you, Cass. All right, run in here real quick. Oh my goodness. A little bit all over the place this episode, huh? Ugh. Which kind are you? Modest. All right. Uh, first of all, we need to put on clothes. <laughs> We're definitely not doing this naked. I'm not that confident in myself, thank you. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We have a... Oh, we have that. Um, and that. And what do we have? We do have pillars, so we're good. gonna nope I was waiting for him to swing at me so I could jump it didn't work oh well <laughs> I don't have my timing down whatsoever hold on over here come on There we go! Finally! My goodness! Is he gonna... What's he gonna do? Okay. Wind. Give me wind! There we go. Guardian Sword Plus. Nope. You'd think I'd eventually get rid get used to these button pushes, huh? I've only played this game forever. Guardian Shield Plus. Oh, it's a 30. This larger version of the Guardian Shield has had its output level boosted. Its defensive capabilities are comparable to those of a metal shields. Well, that's nice. But... Okay. I'm gonna go in here. Oops. Ugh, another frost blade. Inventory's full. Okay. Um we're gonna wanna No, go back. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Oh, it doesn't matter, because whatever we're dropping is not staying dropped. So I don't know why I was thinking about it for a minute. Nope. I want my... No, 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 come back. There we go. And spirit orb. Thank you. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, let's make our way back over to the tower. And then from there, I want to get us back to roundabout where we were before the whole blood moon thing happened. I'm glad we finally got that taken care of though. Let's see. We're heading towards the yellow marker, which is clearly on the other side. <laughs> All right. Yes, over this way. Yes, okay. And why isn't this working? I have no Revali's Gale left. It's charged. And off the side of the tower we go. All right, I'm just going to speed this up here. Try to cut the time in half a bit. All right, here we are. Whoop. We gotta drink some more elixir before we turn into a crispy critter. Here it is. There we go, all better. Now, before we took off to do the shrine quest, I was about to say, down here is an igneotalus. 
somewhere. I can't get the right angle, so I'm not getting a picture of him, but he is down there. So what I'd like to do... Wrong thing. Wrong... Okay. Yes. I want to mark it. And we will come back and say hi to him after we get our armor. Even though we have our fireproof elixir right now, we're down to our last one. And we still have a few things we need to take care of before it runs out. And I don't want to take the chance that the fight runs us out of the elixir before we're able to get our armor. So we're going to head over this way. This should be where we need to be. Yeah. Yep, this is where we need to be. The Southern Mine, I want to say. Something like that. Yeah, Southern Mine. That's our location. Now, collect all these guys. All right. There's another one there. I'm just going to real quick take a glance over here and make sure there's no butterflies. I don't see any. But we're good. Alright. The first stop you want to make is this gentleman right here. Ah, oh, are there any over here? Oh, hey. Perfect. You showed up at just the right time. I'm on my way back from Goron City, but forgot to buy souvenirs. I wanted to capture some of those fireproof lizards that live here on Death Mountain, but those suckers are quick. Say, you look pretty speedy. I bet you could catch a ton. If you bring me ten, I'll give you some heat-resistant armor. So what do you say, buddy? Help a pal out of a jam by capturing some fireproof lizards? Leave it to me. Ooh. Great. Thanks, buddy. Just ten fireproof lizards should be enough. You can probably find some right around here. Fireproof lizard roundup. So now, if you just run around this general area... You're going to basically pillage an entire family of them. <laughs> so you got two there. Rivali's gale oh, is Jesus, no Rivali. Thank you so much. You scared the crap out of me. I'm sitting here concentrating on sneaking up on lizards. And Rivali starts screaming. Alright. There we go. Ostrich. Don't you dare run into me, dude. Alright. Don't see any here. And he probably just scared a bunch of them away. He's still running. That's funny. I like how he's humming while he works. And there's obviously a lot of ore around here to crack, which we can do after we're done right now. Setting off bombs will scare the lizards away. And up here. Okay. Oops. Hi, buddy. See you. Go ahead and pick up this rock. There's one under there. See a few more over here. There you go. You guys just get in my pocket. And join the rest of your family. They're all having a party. There's a rock you can look under. Another one. And I probably have enough by now. The only reason I'm continuing the search is because I'd like to still have some for me after I turn them in. So. There's another one. 
Oh, that pigeon just appeared out of nowhere. And another one. That should do it. Already looked under that rock, probably. Alright. Hey, buddy. Wow, look at all them fireproof lizards. You actually managed to chase down ten of those suckers. Well, a deal's a deal. Hand them over and I'll give you this heat-resistant armor. Here you go. Oh, thanks, buddy. Here, take this. Yes. Flamebreaker armor. Armor crafted by Gorons for Hylians curious enough to visit Goron City. It's made from fire-resistant rocks to protect the wearer. Hmm? Something the matter, buddy? My helmet? Sorry, it ain't for lending. It's too expensive for that. You can buy your own in Goron City. To get a Gor mm. to get to Goron City, head north from here. It's the fifth stop up the trail. Ah. I'm sure you'd agree, buddy, that it's always handy to have some spare souvenirs on hand. So if you come across any more fireproof lizards, I'll buy them off you at 20 rupees for three. And if I get my hands on some fireproof lizards and some monster parts, I can make some fireproof elixirs to boot. Yep, fireproof lizard roundup complete. Very nice. Now, get serious. Oh, <laughs> Doral. My happiness is the boss's happiness, and that means it's Goron City's happiness too. Dig, dig, and then dig some more, and then sell that sweet, sweet ore. Hmm? That's nothing to do with you. Take care. That's right. Wow. Was it me, or was he rhyming? Jingo. Whoa, you scared me. What is it? What is this place? Take a look around. It's where we dig up ore. We call it Southern Mine. I need to concentrate while I'm working. If you want to talk, come see me when it's nighttime. Okay. Yeah. Grayson. This is our guy. You need something. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Name's Grayson. What's it to you? Name ends in sun. What about it? It's time to work now. If you want to talk, come back at night when I'm relaxing. Mm -hmm. So you get it, right? Mm -hmm. We gotta come back at night. Mm -hmm. So, real simple. Boop. Night. That's Jingo. There's Grayson. Yeah. Come on, I'm on break. What is it? And you are? Grayson. I don't like repeating myself, though, so just remember that, okay? I'm a digger here, as you can see. I dig and I dig. Day in, day out. To be honest, I'm sick of it. I feel like... Maybe I'm not meant to toil away in obscurity like this. <sighs> is there a job out there for me that'll let me use my strength to make a difference? There is, buddy. Huh? There is? Where? Please tell me more. Terrytown. <sighs> Terrytown? Never heard of it. What's the deal with that place? See, there's this guy. Hmm? Hmm? Akala? <sighs> Terrytown. So there is somewhere out there that needs me. Hmm, Akala. Isn't too far from here. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna strike while the iron is hot. Oh. Thanks for letting me know, brother. Pelis and I are gonna head there right away. While I'm at it... Oh. Pelisin, we're gonna leave! Uh. Hmm? And there they go. The first of our recruits to get Terrytown Quest up and running. Very nice. And look at that. We have 37 seconds of our Flame Guard available. That's our last one, but it doesn't matter because with this, we'll be all good. Let's see. Where are we at? We should be able to. Now with this, let's get rid of this marker. We'll put the marker now about here. Nope. <laughs> Wrong one. Uh, I don't want to put red because there's a lot of red around here. Blue. With that, we should be able to head our way towards Goron City. And I think what we'll do... is once we get there, that's where we'll call this episode. 
and we'll do the exploring of the town in the next episode because the talking to everybody it takes a lot of time and uh ooh, I was heading over there that's not the right place look at all them black moblins we'll take them on at a later time The exploring of the town, talking to everybody, getting those quests started. Just like it did in all the other towns. It takes a little time. So right now we're just going to look around. Make our way up the road. Oh, I see another one. We should be able to grab them. Thank you. How many do we have left? 16. We did good then. See that? Even with giving him 10, we still have 16. That's nice. Cool. Alright. Around this point. Yep. Run. As soon as you hear that, run. You want to be under... Oof, I'm not. <laughs> you kind of want to be in this part when that happens, because otherwise you could get hit with the magma balls. And they're obviously coming from... Vavrudanya. Let's take a peek. What is that? A river of lava. How loverly. What about over here? Another river of lava. Very nice. Oh. And Radani is introducing himself. Alright. Oh. Here we go. Shrine nearby. I love the music in Goron City. Location, by the way. Well, looky here. Welcome, Master Link. Wait, how did you know? What do you mean? More importantly, I hope you made it past all those magma bombs without injury. To be honest, we haven't had too many visitors here since those magma bombs started falling from the sky. I'd be bored to tears if I didn't pass the time pretending to greet the long-lost Hylian champion. Huh. Oh, in case you didn't know, Link is the little Hylian who fought alongside the Goron champion Daruk. If you want to hear more, talk to the boss. He lives further in town. So he's greeting everybody with the Master Link. Yep. Anything? No? Okay. All right. The one thing I want to do is... God, it's so hard to see in here. I'm trying to remember which way the shrine is. I want to find and activate the shrine. Let's go ahead and grab him. Hi. Yes, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Like I said, we'll talk to everybody. I just... I want the shrine right now. Eesh. We don't want to talk to him yet, because that's going to get things started. Where are you? Just bypass him real quick. And... Nothing. Thank you anyway.
Hi, buddy. There it is. There's a shrine. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yes. Shea Mosa Shrine. Whoa! What in the holy conniptions was that? Oh! I see him. Goodbye. Alright. So, let's get the shrine done. Then that's when we'll call this episode. And next episode will be all about exploring around Goron City. Uh, swinging flames. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. There's no fire in here, right? No. But if you do this... That opens the door. We need that barrel. You kind of seeing what's going on here. Uh, no. Mm. What are you doing? Bow and arrow. Thank you. Fire arrow. There we go. Thank you. Grab you. Thank you. Do 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 do. We got stuff here. Got a cog type thing there. Let's just go ahead and open you. Stone Smasher 42 critical hit. Inventory full. Excuse me. 42. This is a 42 critical hit, but I've been using it. So we'll go ahead and replace it with a new one. There's nothing else back here. These leaves and stuff are here. I don't actually know why. Because if you burn them, there's nothing else here. Now. Let's, I want to just change my arrows out. Goodbye. Thank you. What are you? Guardian sword? Uh, that was a... Ooh! Hello. Oh, these, bo these were both smaller ones. Okay. Very nice. There's another arrow. And another treasure chest. Ruby. Nice. Alright. Nothing else. Alright. No other arrows laying around. Very cool. Let's head up. Door with a key. Another treasure chest. Hello? There's a lot of treasure chests. Ice arrows. Nice. Okay. Next. Another treasure chest. Can't get in there yet. Got this. What is this doing? I think we missed a step. Yep, we missed a step. Let's go back first. Go up here. Ha! This is the step we missed. And I think, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to do something like this. There we go. We 
Yeah, it just drops that. Now with that all out of the way, when we go over here, there we go. There we go. And now we can get this one. Small key. And now we go up here. Which just leads us out. And... Whoop, over here. think this is I'm, I'll try to do it the way they're sort of kind of I don't have a bow it would help if I had a bow There we go. You swing, and then when it's aiming in the right direction, you knock it loose. And there you go. Now, of course, you could have cheated with a fire arrow. Or a fire sword, or whatever. But I figured, might as well try to do it the right way, right? Spirit orb. May this goddess smile upon you. Oops. Cannot have any wood gear whatsoever on. That's better. All right. I just want to walk in a little bit. Trying to get to the center of town. Alright guys, this is where we're going to end this particular episode. We got the tower, made it into Goron City. We finally accomplished our Blood Moon Shrine quest. And, uh... Did a couple of side quests. Got our fancy new fire armor. We're going to get the rest of that set next episode when we do the exploring of this town talk to a few people and yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe if you haven't already and until i see y'all again i hope you have a good one bye <laughs>